Hi everyone, I have words of the Lord from today, um, February the 28th, uh, 2024, and July 28th, 2023. Um, just going to say a quick prayer and get started. Lord Jesus, thank you, Father God, for this day, for guiding and directing us, Lord, for teaching us your ways, your will. I pray for this message that it would go to everybody that needs to hear it, Lord. I pray and I plead the blood of Jesus over my brothers and my sisters that they would seek you, know you, want you, love you, and serve you all the days of their life, Father God. I pray and I plead the blood of Jesus over their home, their job, their family, their children, their coming and their going, Lord. I pray and we lift up the lost, the slumbered, and the confused that they would seek you, know you, want you, and love you, serve you, and know truth, Father God. I give you all glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, February the 28th, 2024. My child, speak my words to my lost and my found. Tell them I am here in the midst. Come follow me. Come to me now while you still can, while I am still here. Soon the darkness will be everywhere, but not before I pluck up my own. Soon much will change and your heart should be focused on me, your Abba, your Adonai, your firm foundation, your rock. Come now, my faithful. I will give you rest. I guide, I direct my own to walk the walk in my will. What would I give? Rivers of living water. Pray without ceasing. What would I give? Come to my well. I will fill you up. Put down this world. Put Put down this world, put down the distractions. Know my ways, my will for your life. Want the marriage supper. Know my ways are higher. Tell them about the Esther fast. And this is, um, I, I think a lot of you guys have heard, but if you don't know what this is, you will find this in the Esther um I can't remember the chapter, but anyways, it's in Esther and it's the three day fast. And, um, it is so important to fast right now where we are in, uh, in this time. If you're seeking the Lord and you're wanting to get close to the Lord, the three day fast is the best fast that you can do. The Esther fast, um, is no water, no, um, sorry, no, um, no food in the the Bible, the fast is a dry fast. It's no water, no food, no anything. But we do the water fast. Um, three days, no food, um, water only. And um, it helps in, in so many ways. I, there's a post on my community with all the benefits of this three-day fast. Um, and it's so beneficial for your walk. If you want to get close to the Lord, if you're seeking the Lord, um, and I know that a lot of you guys are from your comments, the three-day fast is so important. Um, and if you can't do a three-day like immediately, like right now, work yourself there. Do a day, a day, two days. Um, start working yourself to that three-day fast. But um, really, the three-day fast is really really important for you um it has like i said so many benefits go to that um i don't put put too much on the community so you should be able to find it right away and it's there's a list of of benefits and jules uh, julian does um he's his youtube is open eyes of the heart he does it fast every single week they give you the um pdf files to read he teaches you what to read they pray for you um and it starts monday and it you come out okay it starts monday morning and you come out of the fast thursday at uh, six in the morning um but like i said i have i even have a video if you haven't seen it with my um testimony after my first three-day fast and it's after my first three-day fast is when I started, really, it opened up my visions. I was having so many visions um, after that. But it helps you to get closer to the Lord. It's a cleansing. It's a, it, 
it's just so many benefits. You, you have to go to the community to look at that. But um, anyways, he said, tell them about the Esther fast. Tell them miracle signs and wonders when they press in. Tell them, <clears throat> tell them alone time is pertinent. Alone time with him. Reject the devil and he will flee. Tell them this world is the devil's full of traps of the enemy to pull their souls. Do not give him a, full, a footstool. My own belong to me. He shall not touch my anointed and appointed. Hear my words, child. The great apostasy is upon all. Many will run to and fro. And I didn't, I had heard it, but I don't really know what that meant. And it's the great falling away. I had to go look it up. Um, so, um, do not give him a footstool. My own belong to me. He shall not touch my anointed and appointed. Hear my words, child. The great apostasy is upon all. Many will run to and fro. Be still, my children. Come to the, come to the full hearted. I will guide the hearts. Come to me full hearted. I will guide the hearts. I alone am your rock and your firm foundation. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But with me, all things are possible. Come, let me guide your heart. Know my ways. Know that I am still the same yesterday, today, and for forever. Who can know my ways? Fast, pray, and read. Worship the Lord your God. And know that I am the only way, the only truth to eternal bliss. I call my own. Who will listen? Who will answer the call? Practice the ways of the Lord. My beliefs get in my word. I will show you grace, my grace, not the not the hyper grace of this broken down churches. Believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the way. Pray for spiritual eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart for my truth. Believe in me. Believe in the truth. Know that my ways are higher. Who can know them? I am your Abba Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the end, the one true Messiah. I am Jesus the Christ, the Nazarene. Who are you? Do I truly know you? Is your name written in the book of life? Have you put down this world and picked up mine? And July the 28th, 2023. Hear the words of the Lord, child. I am he who was, who is, and is still to come. Who do they say I am? I am your Abba Father. You seek day and night. I am the beginning of your every day. I go before you, making straight the crooked paths. My ways are higher. Take the road less chosen by many, that my ways will outweigh the world. Stay the course. And if you listen to the words that he's saying, he's telling you how to get out of this world, um, how to set yourself apart. And that's that's what that's what we're going to talk about at the end. Um, there's so many things here. He He's giving you clues in everything. His his words. Gosh, his words have so much meaning um, the way that he says things is is with they're like loaded words there's just so much in what he's saying um but let me go back i go before you making straight the crooked paths my ways are higher take the road less chosen that's a clue by many that my ways will outweigh the world stay the course child do not sway to the left or the right stay on my path less taken my my way my will who do you say i am i am your abba father my child you will share my words to the masses many will finally listen you will go high and low sharing my words my prophet for such a time as this my mighty warrior stay the course i have many plans many plans to come child endure 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 stay at my feet we walk from victory know that the battle is won strength i give you my peace i leave i leave you my heart i give you 
my child. Know the words I speak are faithful and true. I love you, my child. Tell them, do not sway to the right or the left, but stay the course on the narrow road. It is a road less traveled. As I say, many were called, but few were chosen. By being unprepared, they missed the bus. Love, I love my children. Your Abba, Father, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus, the Christ. And that's the message for today. Um, so I wanted to go back because a lot of people have asked, um, what does that mean to put down this world? And um, Romans 12, 2, if you look that up, um, I meant to pull this up, but... Romans 12, 2 talks about do not conform to this world, but be transformed. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Um, so... would i can only share my my story i can only sh share my experience of what it was to be pulled because i kept i was i was already putting stuff down like i wasn't going i wasn't going out anymore i wasn't drinking anymore i wasn't um hanging out anymore i was pulling myself and i kept the lord kept telling me still um do not love this world and i didn't understand what what, what do you mean I don't love this world. I didn't think, but I was still um I was still watching movies all the time. If I, and it's not a sin to be watching things, but it can open doors to sin, to to do other things. Um it can open doors because the devil is prowling like a lion right now. Wherever he can come in, he will come in. And um and if you have, if you're glued to the TV or all your programs or whatever, you're not paying attention to him. You're not reading the Bible. You're not praising. You're not, right now, I don't even have time to watch TV. Um, there's so much to do. Excuse me. There's so much to do. There is no time to watch TV. Um, so if I'm watching TV, that's a distraction from reading my Bible from praying from and right now we need to be we're in a war and we need to be battling and that means coming and being at his feet and it's it's um it's an everyday when he says um put put down this world and the ways of the world that's you when you pull yourself from the world you 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 see things differently. You speak differently. You're not cussing anymore. You're not um, doing things of the world anymore. And it's, if you come to the Lord, he'll convict your heart on, come as you are. You, you come as you are. He wants you to come to him now the way that you are. He'll work on you. And we're all different. My walk and what he needed to pull the the world out is different than what you, what needs to be pulled out of you or what you, how do I say that um the world that you need to get out of um is different my walk is different than your walk and whatever take everything to the lord whatever you feel like he needs to when i was coming to him i was praying lord Show me, open up my eyes, show me truth, guide me and direct me. And I was giving him all of me. I was letting him mold me, cut, cut away what needs to be cut off. Um, and he'll, if you come to him, he's going to work on you. Um, he will 
guide and direct you, but you have to come to him wholeheartedly. Come to him. Um, fasting, I have to say, is so important. If you start fasting, it you'll get closer to him. You can feel his um, his presence working in your life. He will guide you. He will convict you. Holy Spirit will convict you. T he really is our teacher. Um, there is, I couldn't, I didn't learn anything from, from man or church going to all these years, but Holy Spirit did an acceleration in four years and still t t teaching me. I'm still learning. I'm, I'm with you guys learning right now. Um, and, and I didn't know what it means to take up your cross and follow him. Um, and that's part of leaving the world behind. You're, you're cutting down shutting the world off whatever is a distraction from you getting closer to the lord that's part of the world um when you become when i became renewed again um this last four years everything from be that i was doing before um i started coming to the lord i just started leave um i had no desire anymore he just takes the desire away there i have no desire i don't i don't miss hanging out with anybody anymore and i'm okay that jesus is my best friend that's who i speak to that's who i talk to and i have like um my friends here and there but I, it's not anybody that i'm i don't hang out in the world anymore i don't speak like the world anymore i don't think like the world anymore my way of thinking is different. My way of seeing things is different. Um, I can go somewhere, even to the store, and see things so differently. Um, and he puts that in your heart because you, you're walking with him and you're seeing what he's teaching you and you're pulling yourself from the world. And But again, you have to take yourself to him so he can work on you because what, what what I got pulled from may not be what you're you need to be pulled from. Um, we're all different, and we have our, our our lifestyles are different, our walks are different, and um, but just think, whatever is a distraction is part of the world because that's devil is a liar and he makes everything look good interesting to distract us to get our attention whatever he can get our attention from from the lord from reading our bible from being close to the lord um worshiping fasting that is a distraction that is the world coming in um and it can be like i said it could be your tv programs it could be whatever 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 takes um too much youtube even um those shorts that's my distraction and i'm working on that because i can go in and start watching a video but then it's something that can easily get my uh, my attention and um that's my distraction that i'm working on but i've come a long ways because i've had worse distractions so i mean it's a it's a daily process it's a daily walk and it really is a daily walk every day we 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 live in this world it's hard it's not easy but it gets easier the more you seek the lord the more you fast the easier it gets um and i hope that helped somebody and if you guys have any please if you have any suggestions put it down at the comments because it helps it helps me and i, I know it helps our brothers and sisters um and thank you so much for your you guys have awesome ideas and awesome comments. Um, and that's how we should be building each other up, helping each other out. Um, and that's it. God bless you guys. I hope that helped. I hope I didn't confuse anybody. Um, but I'm like I said, I'm still learning with you guys. So correct me if I'm wrong, but um this is what this is what helped me cut everything out so I can focus on the Lord. And when you're walking with the Lord, you're busy he gives you work to do and there's a lot to do um so if you're seeking wholeheartedly 
um, the distractions are less and less in the world. You're, you're getting rid of the world less and less. Um, so I don't want, want to confuse anybody, but God bless you guys. Have a good night. Take everything to the Lord and know that Jesus is the only way. And we give him all glory and honor. He is the reason that we're doing all of this to um, bring our brothers and sisters closer to him. He gets all the glory. Thank you guys. Um, good night.